Well, thank you for joining us online. I'm uh, glad to have you uh, with me uh, online. Let me give it a few minutes as we uh, begin to talk about some of the things that are going on uh, in these next few uh, days and, and time at Praise Assembly and uh, what we're doing on the, two days from now on our uh, Wednesday night service. I'm actually trying to share this on my own um, page if I can. So I did pop up and I'm going to try to share it here real quick. Let me just tell you, uh, just to, again, if you notice some of the things that are online um, that scrolling right now, just a kind of an announcement that we have that we wanted just to share with you is that we are, um, we are having a uh, 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 starting next week, starting next Tuesday, uh, we're going to start having our uh, services, um, our preaching part of our services on uh, 94.5. That's why I put it up there, that little logo. I'll move it in just a minute, but 94.5 praise. And we're going to have some of our services, a preaching part uh, on um, that channel, 94.5. It's a station here in Beaufort. It's a station that reaches strong station, reaches uh, Beaufort, part of Jasper County, Colleton County, almost even part of Charleston County. And so we're going to be doing that to reach more people and to reach people that may be still uh, at home and um, not out and about during this time. And we want to make sure we reach as many people as we possibly can. So next week it starts. Next week we're going to have it um, going on Monday. It'll be on Mondays and Thursdays. And I'll give you the times, uh, probably give you the times this Sunday. As you come to church, you'll hear more about it this Sunday, but, and also through our email. But I uh, want to let you know that's kind of an announcement we have. We're, we even talked about that before, but this has just popped up as something that's given us an opportunity to, to do uh, something that we uh, have been wanting to, I've been wanting to do for a while now. And that is to be on uh, the radio and to be able to minister on, on a radio station and uh, gives us an opportunity through um, through that medium to minister to people. And so we're excited that we will be able to uh, to do that. I want to just take a, a minute and share with you what's going on this week uh, when it comes to uh, prayer and fasting on Thursday. We're going to have a time of prayer and fasting uh, Thursday. And, and we really call the church to prayer uh, because we feel like it is it is time. It is the time to uh, move forward in this uh, moment that we're in. Um, and I'll kind of go through the list of what we're praying for and share a little bit about where we are with that and our heart. But uh, we've done some of the work. Some of us have uh, have uh, been uh, praying for our country already. We've been praying for our church and country. We've been praying for uh, people that are in need already. Some of us have held signs up uh, in, in standing with uh, those that are oppressed and hurting. Some of us have darkened our Facebook uh, profile pictures. Some of us have um, reached out to others in need and talked to others. Uh, some of us even today voted. You did a lot of those things, which are all good things to do. But I'll tell you, the real work happens when we begin to start with prayer. I, I think I put on, the, uh, on my Facebook post earlier today that um, spiritual uh, excuse me, that powers, demonic powers do not give up control unless there's demand put on them by the power of the Holy Spirit and a child of God giving uh, them, giving them no room, telling them to get out in the name of Jesus. And so this is part of the work. This is part of the work we do to see God do, a, I think, a, a national revival, which I have felt since the pandemic started, that God wanted to do something greater um, than ordinary and supernatural days that we're in. And the mysterious day, supernatural meaning uh, the attacks we've seen. And I believe God wants to be a part of something greater than just um, complaining about what's going on, but to make a difference. So we are going to and call and we are calling the church on um, Thursday all day for a day of prayer and fasting. We're asking you to join uh, brothers and sisters in our church, maybe our Facebook family, people that don't go to our church already said they are going to be participating in this. Well, we're asking you to join us for a day of prayer and fasting. And let me just share with you uh, kind of the, the guide it, it will be. And although it's kind of hard to see this, uh, it, this guide will be a, a guide that we're using. It's on the Praise Assembly Facebook page. You can find it there. I think it should be on our website. You can find it there also. How to pray and what we're praying for. We're praying for uh, the list, justice uh, for those for those that have uh, lost their lives, comfort for families, praying for uh, those that have lost their lives of COVID, pray for those that have lost jobs. Think about the loss right now, uh, lost jobs, uh, strength for first responders, policemen who are on the front lines, praying for them, praying for our uh, hospital workers and 
doctors and nurses and paramedics and all those that are working uh, to save lives, law enforcement praying to, that we would keep safe from the virus. I'm going to blow this up and you can see it. Uh, pray for um, us to for provision and food for those that are in need and pray, pray for a fresh anointing. Pray for a fresh anointing on the church as we faithfully proclaim the gospel and we reach those who are suffering, alone, hurting, those that are in need. It really is a, a, a guide. And, and let me just give you a few pointers of, of prayer that I do. And of course, tomorrow night we'll be on with a church planter talking about church planting and a college community and what it looks like reaching out to colleges in, in the college community, how a church operates in that. And that'll be tomorrow night. But uh, tonight, I really want to encourage you when it comes to fasting and prayer to be um, serious about this, because here, here's what I usually do when I'm fasting and praying. I, I prepare myself for it. And what I do, and whether you're going to fast a meal or two meals or a whole day, you know, whatever the Lord leads you to do. So there's a sense of denying yourself a food to spend time in prayer with the Lord. And so uh, many of you need to prepare yourself maybe for that. Um, uh, get yourself ready. Understand that Thursday you may skip a meal or two or the day and you have to be prepared for that Wednesday and, and prepared that Friday. And even in your mind, be thinking about that as it comes to pass, you start, okay, you start thinking, okay, this is the time I'm setting aside for the Lord for prayer. Also, when you fast and pray, it is a time where uh, generally what I try to do is I try to, uh, you have to go about your business. You'll let everybody know you're fasting. I don't think that's the thing to do. You just have this, you don't care around and you know act like you're, you're super spiritual or anything. Jesus said, don't do that. But what you do is you try to carry on normal life. Life is normal. Other than there are moments where you are setting aside for, for times of prayer. It may be breakfast time before you go to work, maybe lunch time, um, set aside that moment, maybe in the evening, setting a little time of prayer with you and God. And, and here's the thing, when you begin to fast and pray and when you join God in this and when you follow the call of God in this, what you do is you, you begin to say, God, I want to join with you. I want to hear your voice. And here, how do you want me to pray? Um, let me just recommend praying a few things. And this is, uh, again, for me, uh, praying the Psalms. I think it's highly valuable to pray. Uh, maybe t Psalm 26, Psalm 27, Psalm 25. Um, you know, some of those Psalms that we're even kind of been in as a church lately, the staff memorized and prayed some of those Psalms already. You have too, uh, many of you. Uh, begin to pray those Psalms, but, but then begin to pray over these needs. And uh, sometimes, and it's usually the way I do it when I do a, a day fast, is I will set aside uh, moments. In other words, I'll set my alarm, put it this way, I'll set my alarm um, about you know, every hour, uh, maybe five till the hour. And what I'll do is it, it rings, I go and kind of, because I have the opportunity to do this, not everybody does. I go and I kind of set aside some time and I pray over the needs or ask the Lord to speak to me or ask God to do a work and, and, and all that. Be sensitive to the Holy Spirit when you fast and pray. And so let me just encourage you in that today. So uh, spend time fasting and pray on Thursday. Uh, you know, we, we don't really, it's kind of a strange day we live in when it comes to social distancing and everything else. We really don't have, you know, opportunities to really gather that much. Uh, but we do, we do gather in the name of Jesus where we are. And so pray over these things. We believe God brings great benefit. God will bring great encouragement when we do fast and pray. And what I do when we fast, I just don't, I don't eat. And I don't eat. Uh, and some people uh, may do uh, fast media and not eat. Or some people don't, uh, will, will not watch TV, you know, and not eat. But it's just a time where really fasting, what it does is really ideally fasting is, is a morning time. Morning meaning you're, maybe we're grieving over our uh, the sins of our uh, our nation, our church, or grieving over our own kind of waywardness. And so, when you're mourning and when you're sad, you don't eat. You don't have an appetite. A part of fasting too is setting aside focus, realizing that you're not dependent on food because man does not depend on bread alone, but by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. And so, when you fast. You're declaring to God, yes, Lord, I'm depending on you. I, I am believing you. I'm trusting in you. And I need you. It really heightens your dependence on God. And if you're a guy, if you're a guy 
and you don't eat for a couple meals, you realize how often you've depended on food to cover for a lot of things, meaning anger or uh, other issues that come up. And, you know, we get testy sometimes and again, patient, these things that, that we've depended on to help us. But now we don't have the comfort food, quote unquote, comfort food. You may not have comfort food for a few uh, meals on Thursday. Instead, you've got the comfortor. Right, the comforter. He'll he'll help you. He'll be there for you. So let me just uh, encourage you in that. So that's what I do. I'll set my alarm. I won't eat. I'll uh, I'll spend that time in prayer and I'll pray in my relationship with the Lord uh, and reflecting on Him and His goodness. Pray the Scriptures, Psalm twenty six, twenty seven, twenty eight, maybe Psalm twenty five, and then I'll go begin to pray through these things. And I'll, I'll, I won't do it all at one moment. For example, if I set my alarm for 10, then what I'll do is at 10, I'll pray for comfort for those who've lost loved ones through COVID. And I'll pray that. I'll just pray that. And uh, and then at 11, I'll, I'll pray, uh, help those who are unemployed and just got to meet their needs or their provider or their source. And that, that's how you walk it through in prayer for this. And when you have a list like this, and uh, you spend that day in prayer. And of course, you know, you've got to get on with life. You have life. So you have to live life. You've got to, you know, see about the kids, deal with, uh, you know, go to work, do all these other things that life you just have to do, you know. But it does give you an opportunity to spend some time, some quality time with the Lord and begin to pray. Again, I said it earlier and I'll say it one more time. You know, we've done a, this is the work to see God bring a move of his presence in us and around us. The work God calls us to do is to serve greatly, and we will, and we do, is to proclaim boldly, and we do. And I believe God desires for us to see broken, for ground to break, breakthrough in the power of the Holy Spirit. That's what fasting will do. It will break uh, strongholds over lives and strongholds over communities and strongholds over uh, areas that need revival and need God to move. And we want to be a part of that. So let me encourage you again, Thursday. We're fasting and praying. Make sure you join us June the 11th and um, begin to prepare yourself for that and spend that day believing God to do something great and mighty. All right. Thank you for joining me. And again, um, this is a, th- these are, these are serious times. These are difficult times, but we serve a risen savior who is bigger than anything we will ever face. And I encourage you today. I just want to encourage you in the Lord. God says he is your refuge and strength. He's your help in every time of trouble. God is not surprised. God is not shocked. And God is not worried about anything that's going on in our world. He is your father. He is your comforter. He sees the end from the beginning. and He is there. Do not be afraid in Jesus name. All right. God bless you.